Hello and welcome to this video about finding the range, mode and modal class from frequency tables. Now let's just say we've got this frequency table here. What this means is that we've got four people we've got who got 10 points, so we could list out these values explicitly. Four values of 10, we've got two values of 20, we've got three values of 30 and we've got one value of 40. And then let's just say I wanted to find the range of these values. We know the range is just the maximum value of 40 minus the minimum value of 10, which is equal to 30. But can you see that we don't actually need to list out these values? We can see that the lowest value from this table was 10 and the highest value was 40. So we can immediately do 40 minus 10 to get the range without listing these values out. And what about the mode? Well, the mode is the most common value, and from here we can see that 10 points is the most common value, so the mode will be 10. But again, we can avoid writing these out, because we can see that 10 points had the highest frequency, so it occurred the greatest number of times, so we know, therefore, the mode is 10. It would be incorrect to actually list the highest frequency. If we wrote our answers for, that would be wrong. That would be the frequency of the mode, but it's not the actual mode itself. The mode is 10 points. What about this? We've now got a grouped frequency table. What about the range? Now, we can't actually work out the range. And the reason is, is because we don't actually know the heights of these people. We know that 11 people had a height between 1.0 and 1.4 metres but we don't know what those exact heights were within that interval. So in fact, it's impossible to work out the range. And we can't work out the mode as well because we don't actually know the exact heights. But we can still work out something called the modal class interval. And what the modal class interval is basically the interval which had the highest frequency, i.e. occurred most frequently. So the modal class interval, in this case, would be we just write out the interval with the highest frequency, which we can see is this first interval here. So it's going to be 1.0 less or equal to h is less than 1.4. So we just copy out exactly what's there, which has the highest frequency. Now, why don't you have a go at these? I want you for this table, I want you to find the mode and the range. And for this grouped frequency table, I want you to just find the modal class interval. You may want to pause the video at this point to have a go at those. Right, let's do it. For this first one here, the range is just the maximum age minus the minimum age, the maximum value minus the minimum value. So it's just 8 minus 5, which is equal to 3. And the mode is just the age that occurs most commonly. So we can see the highest frequency is the 9 here, so the modal age would be 8. What about here? We want the modal class interval, and that is the interval that occurs most frequently. Well, we can see that this is the highest frequency, so this is going to be the modal class interval. So we just copy out 12 is less equal to W is less than 15. Well done if you got that right.